Hello class, my name is Mr. Martinez, and let's have ourselves a little bit of fun with geometry. Now today we're going to be going over this teak from chapter 101.22, B6A. And it reads, the student, that's you guys, is expected to use angle measurements to classify angles as acute, obtuse, or right. Now today what we're going to be learning about is how we can like about the different types of angles out there, namely acute, obtuse, or right, and also how we can classify them based on their measure. So that's what we're going to learn on. Now, the first one that we're going to cover is the right angle. Now let's go ahead and go into that. Now, right angles have the property that their measure will always be exactly 90 degrees. That means, like, let's say we had our left hand pointing directly away from us and our right hand pointing directly upwards. Now, the angle that you just formed with your arms is a right angle. Now, if your right arm was slanted towards the left, then it would no longer be a right angle because the measure for this angle is slightly less than the measure for a 90 degree angle. And if it was pointing, if it was slanted towards the right, then that also wouldn't be a right angle. Because now you have an angle with a measure that's greater than 90 degrees. So keep that in mind class. In order to have a right angle, your angle needs to be exactly 90 degrees. Now let's consider a few examples. Let's say we had a 70 degree angle. Now, is the 70 degree angle a right angle? Well, let's consider this. In order for it to be a right angle, it has to be exactly 90 degrees. Is 70 90? Of course not. That's pretty clear, right? That's pretty obvious. So what does that mean? Well, it means that it's not a right angle. Let's also consider an angle of 150 degrees. Now, is 150 90? Well, no. No, right? So what does that mean? It means that it is also not a right angle. So, are there any questions, class, on this? Pretty clear? Okay, good. Now let's go on. Now, let's consider acute angles. Now, acute angles have the property that their measure will always be between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Now, we said before that a right, right angle can be considered one where your left arm is pointing directly outwards and your right arm is pointing directly upwards. Well, an acute angle would be one where your right arm is slanted towards the left. So something like this, something like this would be an acute angle. Now, so long as your arm is slanted towards the left, like it could be anywhere from here all the way up to here, so long as it's not 90 degrees, but even something like 89 degrees would be an acute angle. So long as it's somewhere within this range, then what you have is an acute angle. Now, let's consider some examples. Let's consider this one, 45 degrees. Now, class, let me ask you, is 45 between 0 and 90? Yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? So what does that mean? Well, it means that our 45-degree angle here is acute, right? Yes, it does. Now, let's consider 80 degrees. Oh, well, that one's pretty close to 90. Would that still be an acute angle? Well, let's see. Is 80 degrees between 0 degrees and 90 degrees? Yes, Timothy? Yes, it is, isn't it? So what that mean? Remember, class, even though it's close to 90, 80 degrees is still less than 90. It's still between 0 and 90, so what does that mean? Yes, it means that it is an acute angle. Now, class, can any of you, get, can any of you give me uh, other examples of acute angles? Okay, I see someone there. Yes, a 13-degree angle would be acute. Yes, also a 20-degree angle. 
What if I had an angle like 89.9? Would that be acute? Yes, it would be, because it's, bet it's still between 0 and 90 degrees. So yes, 89.9 would still be an acute angle. So long as it's not 90, so long as it's less than 90, it will be an acute angle. It will be an acute angle. All right, class, are there any questions? All right, then. Now, let's go on. You guys are pretty smart. You guys are getting this pretty quickly. Now, let's consider... Let us consider of two sandals. Now we said before, well let me ask you guys, how would a right angle look like? Show me with your arms. Yeah, that's correct. It will look like this, right? Okay, now what do I have to do with my right arm to get an acute angle? Yeah, I have to slant it towards the left. Now this would be an acute angle, right? Anything that's between here to here, right? This would be an acute angle. Now, what do you think an obtuse angle is going to be? If this is an acute angle and this is a right, what's going to be an obtuse? Yes, exactly. It's going to be one where your right arm is slanted towards the right. Although you guys kind of cheated because I have a picture here though, right? So yes, this is how an obtuse angle will look like. So anything that's between a 90 degree angle and 180 degrees, anything between that range, that will be an obtuse angle. Now let's consider some examples. Now a 135 degree angle. Is 135 between 90 and 180? Yes. Yes, it is. It is between 90 and 180. So what does that mean? Exactly. It means that it is an obtuse angle. Now, what about a 100 degree angle? Now, uh, Timothy, tell me, is 100 between 90 and 80? 180? Of course it is, right? It's pretty clear. Now, what does it mean? What does that mean? 100 is between 90 and 8, 180. So, what would that mean? Yes, it means that it is an obtuse angle. Now, what if I had an angle like, let's say, 91 degrees? That's pretty close to a right angle, right? That's almost that's almost directly upwards. Would that be an obtuse angle? Well remember, so long as it's between 90 and 180, that means that's an obtuse angle. Since 91 is a little bit bigger than 90 and less than 180, then that means that yeah, it's an obtuse angle. What about an angle like 179? It's almost 180, right? But even then, you would still just have an obtuse angle. Now, what would be some other examples of a two, of a two angle class? Yeah, 150 would also be a pretty good example. 165. So yeah, basically anything that's within this range, that would be an obtuse angle. Are there any questions? All right, then let's go on. Now that we've covered the three different types of angles, I'm gonna give you guys a little quiz. Don't worry, it's not for a grade, it's just for fun, just to see if you guys get it. Okay, now I'm going to be giving you the measure of an angle, and I'm going to want you guys to, one, give me the type of angle that it is, and two, with your arms, I want you guys to show me how it would look like. Now, 65 degrees, what kind of angle would that be? Yes? Okay, yeah, that, that's a possibility. Yeah? Okay, that might work. Let, let's see in a, sec, in a sec. Okay, can you guys show me how it would look like with your arms? Okay, most of you guys are telling me that shows that looks like this. Most of you guys are saying that looks like this, right? Now let's see what it actually looks like. Looks like you guys were right. It does look like that. And it looks like you guys were right again. It is an acute angle. So good job, guys. Let's consider an angle of 140 degrees. Now what kind of angle would that be? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, it might be an obtuse angle. Well, how would the angle look like? Why don't you guys show me how the angle would look, up, look like with your arms? Okay, yeah, most of you are saying that would look like this. 
Let's see. Looks like you guys were right again. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's consider an angle of 90 degrees. Now, what do you guys think? What, do you, what kind of angle do you guys think this is? Okay, I have some, someone there. We know, well, I've already called out enough people over there. Okay, you, what do you think it would be? Okay, you're saying that's a right angle. Now, what do you guys think it would look like? Okay, let's see if you guys are right. Now look at that. That is how it looks like. And yeah, you are right. It would be a right angle. Now let's consider, for our last one, a 30 degree angle. What kind of angle would that be? Yeah? Okay, you're saying that's an acute? How would it look like with your arms, guys? Okay, most of you are saying that it would look like this. Now let's see. And right again. It would be an acute, and it would look like the way you showed with your arms. Alright? You guys are pretty smart. It looks like you guys got this pretty easily. Well, this would be the conclusion for our lesson today, class. It's been a pleasure teaching you, and hopefully we could do this again someday. Alright, goodbye.